welcome. Welcome to Waterbox Live, you guys. We're live on Facebook and YouTube every Wednesday, 6 p.m. And make sure we got a you cool show today. like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, YouTube yes. and Facebook. Um, yes. And we are looking at fish tanks today. Yeah, so we got a cool show today. We're showing you. A, we're going to show you what we got planned, and mm -hmm. we're also going to show you all the tanks here in the office. A lot of people ask about what tanks we have, yeah. and we have a lot. Let's get There's started. A lot. Wait a second. Um, keep it going. There you go. <laughs> Facebook isn't going live yet, so we're having oh, a little bit of a technical, technical issue. technical issue with Facebook. So we're waiting for Facebook. Can I see Facebook catch over up, here? Catch up, catch up. Yeah, I'm I over do. here. It's running. Um, so, again, we're looking at all of our fish. We have six fish, fish tanks here in the office. Yep. We got fresh water. We got salt water. There's also a lot that come up and go down. You oh know, my goodness, <laughs> if we could, yeah, if we could just track the tanks that we've put up and have torn down different builds we've done. These yeah. are the six that have like stayed right. throughout the whole everything. I mean, that'd be really fun to show everyone the tanks that we have at the Waterbox mm -hmm. headquarters here. Ready. All right, now we're gonna get started. Roll that intro. <laughs> So, guys, we're here in the Waterbox headquarters lobby. The reason we're out here is we wanted to show you guys kind of what we got planned for the rest of the year. So, we're, we're going to be doing a lot of builds for you guys. Everyone knows the dream build right here that we yes, see all the time. Yeah. So, this is in our, our main lobby here at the headquarters. So, we know the dream tank, but yeah. there's a lot more going to happen in this lobby. Yeah, so what we're doing, I wish I could get all Scott Crow on this, but uh, <laughs> you tried what, earlier. what we're going to do in this, this lobby here, we're going to be converting this. This is going to be like our tank showroom. You know, we have the studio back in the office. This is going to be where we're doing all the builds this year. So we've got a lot of really cool builds coming up. Um, first thing I'm going to show you guys is right over here. So we're, we're getting rid of the seating. We're going to actually be setting up here soon, starting just in... About three, four weeks, roughly. Four weeks. We're doing uh, a Frag 105.4 build, which is going to be awesome. Uh, we're going to load this thing down. we got uh, some really good uh, livestock guys that are going to be getting this coral for it, all the good equipment. So what you see here is gonna change a lot. We're getting rid of the seating. We're gonna cover up this window that goes into the conference room. So um, that's gonna be a really cool series to look out for. So that's coming uh, next. we'll start posting information on that soon. There's gonna be giveaways. There's gonna be lots of cool content. Good stuff, yes. Yeah. That's gonna be a fun build. The coral selection is going to be awesome. We did a poll, mm -hmm. got everyone's opinion on it. So we're yeah. kind of going with that route and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, so keep an eye out for that. And then we have this big empty wall over here. This is going to be a big surprise that we have come late, coming later this year. Um, right now, it's just kind of showcasing a couple of our freshwater tanks. We got the 3620, and this is the 2418 yep. on oak cabinets. Um, so keep an eye out for this, guys. Sometime this year, this is going to, we're going to show you what this is going to be. It's going to be amazing. And then, of course, over here where the dream build is, there's going to be some other things going in. We've had a um, lot of demand for like marine build, the marine mm -hmm. all-in-one. So we're going to focus a lot on the builds that we haven't done in a long time mm -hmm. or we haven't hit with the newest models. So uh, we have so many things we're going to be doing this year. Yeah. But now we get to focus on the tanks that we actually have here at the office. Yeah. Yep. And here we are heading back to the studio. To the studio. So what's, what, Don't Jess, what's really cool about um what we're going to do out there in the lobby is a lot of you guys have watched the dream build mm -hmm. um we've documented that tank now for almost probably over a year yeah you know, uh, from the very, from i want to say we're probably getting close to a year and a half wow it's been i remember we talked about it being a year and that seemed like a long time ago yeah. so it's probably like a year and a half that, that one's been up and going um and we've used we've highlighted a lot we've done lots mm -hmm. of videos on it um, lots of great educational stuff. So yeah. we're going to add to that whole room with just so many different mm -hmm. 
types that we're going to do, you know, freshwater, saltwater sizes and different ranges and models. It's going to be really nice to kind of showcase area and we'll be able to do yeah. a lot more videos for everyone. Yeah, so what we did on that 230, you're going to see translated into lots of different aquariums that we make. So yeah. it's going to be tons of content, tons of fun. So again, every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Lots That's coming up. Tune in. Lots and lots. But yeah. we wanted to show everyone the tanks that we actually have here at our office. So a lot of them, we have the one big tank out in the lobby and then the other ones are kind of spread throughout our offices, stuff like that. So we kind of want to just do like a walkthrough of the tanks here. So this is, of course, we were just out there, um, the Dream Build. This is the Pro 220.6. So this is our six foot uh, baby. And anyone who's seen the lives has seen quite a bit of this one. Um, and this is like mixed reef. It doesn't really have much in the way of hard corals, lots of softies, LPS, and tons of fish. There's our little tusk. This if you guys have questions, great. post them below. I'll try to get to them as well. Yeah, about any of the tanks. Um, so this is our biggest model um, for the Pro with the six foot. And the, we have a wide range of corals in here. Uh, lots of different fish, tanks, our tusk. We have a mandarin in there. Probably won't ever get to see him because he's very, uh, very... It hides a lot. <laughs> yeah, so when you guys are looking at these tanks, these corals have been in here a long time. What's really cool about these builds that we're going to be doing this year, just like we did on lots of stuff that's in our office, is you're going to get to see exactly how you can get a reef tank to a mature, stable point, just like this tank. Uh, we're going to be doing the same thing with the freshwater. So this tank is beautiful. It's our largest production saltwater mm -hmm. tank. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at that. You too can have this in your home. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our biggest saltwater that we have in the office. So, and then we also have our six foot freshwater, which um, everyone's kind of seen. We did a build on this. And this is kind of um, a mixture of, we got like tiger barbs, some cichlids. Uh, there's some rainbow sharks in there. Kind of a, just a little mix of everything, parrotfish. It's got uh, a little bit of driftwood, rock, and some artificial plants. This um, has been up and going for a while. It was originally Eel Island. It was a salt water. Yes. We converted it to the fresh water. And it's very relaxing as a fresh water, too. It though. is. It's very decorative. A lot of people were sad to see the Eel Island go. I mean, it's such a totally different thing. It is completely, completely different. Completely polar opposite setup. But it goes to show you that you can do a saltwater tank in these. You can also do a freshwater just as easily. Yeah. And that's beautiful. I mean, look at all those fish in there. Um, I like it because it, it's nice that we have a six foot of salt and fresh and you can see just how different they are. Uh, both appealing in their own way. I mean, this is going to be a more simplistic setup as far mm -hmm. as ease and maintenance. But, you know, six foot models and this one's got the more white light because it's the fresh water, the mm -hmm. more blue light with the salt um, and just requirements and stuff. So it's nice to be able to show kind of like side by side almost the difference between a fresh and salt water model. They're just so Love happy it. and they always want to eat. <laughs> Every time I walk by that aquarium, they're like, are you feeding me? Yeah, pretty much. I think that's their only existence in a yeah. day. Is they just want to get fed. I guess it's, yeah, in the simplest form, that's what they're concerned that's about. That's all I got going on. <laughs> oh, the next one is the one in my office. I like how you giggled a little bit. Giggled. About it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this one is actually a 10 cube. And this one kind of got set up as we have taken down um, our 45 frag that we had. Mm -hmm. These actually came, these, have, these anemones have been in, in tanks for a long time with us. This one was yeah. like the 35 marine we did, then it went to the 45 frag. That one got torn down, now it moved into here. And it's turned out really nice just because it's just full it's of the bright red anemones. It's actually got three clowns in there that have been together for a long time. Those are some and they're really happy clownfish. Happy. They are, and they have all their anemones. Um, Oh, look at that. That's a nice shot. Yeah. He's not fully inflated right there. But uh, this tank's pretty cool because it is just anemones and clownfish. That's all I'm doing yeah. with it. It's just they're living their life. They're happy. Yeah, um, it's a good setup. And it's in a 10 cube, so it's just right in the corner of my office. Super easy. Yep. Yep. That's a good setup, too, because it's relatively easy to maintain. It's not real demanding. Yeah. Um, very, very easy. And then enemies can just fill in and kind of grow out. And it's just going to be eventually the view, the you know, visions, just like everywhere you see, it's just the anemones. Yeah, so you don't see are, rock, you don't see anything. Yeah, so what's really cool about those anemones that are in that tank is those started uh, in one of my tanks I, at least 10 years ago. Wow. So that's where they originated from. Obviously, they've split and split and split and yeah. split. And they've been, you know, moved off to other tanks and new homes. But those are from that same original anemone. Don't that mind, I, I should have cleaned the glass ago. before this video, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the oh hard. God. <laughs> not all aquariums are crystal clear all the time. You do have to clean it. So. 
All right, who we got? Who we got next on the? All right, so this is just Stewart's tank in her office. This is a Cube 20 that she has in there. Um, I like hers because it has like an almost like a completely upright cave type rock I know, formation I like that. in it. It's, it's really very, neat. very unique. She's got rock nems, ganiopores, like a little bit of everything in there, softies all the way up to there's a little bit of like digitata SBS in there. And mm -hmm. then, you know, a couple of little fish running around in there. But I like the uniqueness of the rock work. And this is the 20 cube on the 1818 cabinet and she's using the clear six underneath yes. as the reservoir for top off. Yeah. So she's the lucky person in the office that doesn't have to top off their cube. <laughs> All of us have to run around with our bucket and top it's, them off. It's a great thing to note because she's using the clear six, so our freshwater clear six as an ATO chamber. It's a great idea. It fits right under that fits 20 gallon. Fits perfect inside yeah. the cabinet. Nice gonies. That's pretty Some cool. Nice I love the, what kind of rock did she use? Do you know? Oh God. Um, is it, I think that's the Carib, that, the Carib Sea. It's Carib Sea Life Rock mm -hmm. arch? Yeah, got, I can see okay. like little arch and tunnel ones or whatever. So I'm pretty sure it's the Carib Sea on that one. It's a cool tank. But very, very unique. Cool and everyone who has a tank in their office or whatever has to take care of their own tank. So just FYI. <laughs> do, uh, Angela. Angela's? So ah. this is Angela. Angela's in customer service. And nope. Oh. No, no. She sees that one every day. <laughs> that is customer. That's part of our customer customer service area. There, yeah, but customer we're going service to gets to stare tank. right at the six foot peninsula and that yeah. beautiful fish tank. They were not happy about Eel Island going away because they loved their eels and I their know. puffer fish. But the reality is, is like we can't have forty seven tanks in our office. No, no, and we have at one time <laughs> pretty much. So we've actually yeah. toned it down a little bit, which is great because yeah. just and overall maintenance takes a lot of time. Um, because we do maintain all of our tanks here in the office. We don't have a service come in. We do all of it. Mm -hmm. So water changes, glass cleaning, it all has to be done here. So yeah. let's go to uh, the other customer service. All right, we're actually going to do Emily's. And um, so Emily's in customer service. This is her 10 cube that is on her desk. And she has this thing jam packed with coral. So she's probably got like the highest density because she keeps buying frags yeah. for a 10 cube. Um, so nice big <laughs> leathers in there. She just keeps finding little spots to put them in. She's got like a frag rack in there. It's with a really tons nice of, tank. I love it. It's yeah. just so jam See, she's got all her A cans and stuff on the frag rack. She's got corals everywhere on the rock. And I'm pretty sure she just keeps coming to the office with more coral. So, <laughs> <laughs> but everything's yes. super healthy and she happy. she may have mentioned getting an upgrade soon. I don't know. Yeah, yeah and, and there's possible. her new clown that she just got. He oh, is beautiful. Cool. But this, she's definitely the coral heavy one of all yeah. the cubes. Uh, Jess and I have kept it pretty uh, simple, but she's got some beautiful A cans and... She has uh, the highly debated green star polyps and pulsing zinnia. Yeah, she's got daisy polyps. <laughs> yeah, Those she's are some got of my favorites. Daisy though, polyps, she's got all the ones in there, but then she's got some nice A cans. And I do know she is going to be getting a bigger tank, so I think she's just stockpiling corals until she gets yeah. her bigger tank. So that that's, looks that's beautiful. That's a great example. We just did a video on the 20 gallon cube uh, what, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And so that's a great example of what you can do with that. Thing's loaded down with corals, relatively easy it's maintenance. It's just a 10 cube. Yeah. But it's amazing. Run a little protein skimmer on it, do a water change, top it off every once in a while, feed the yeah, fish. Yeah, so Emily does, with that much coral and stuff in mm -hmm. there, she does run a protein skimmer. I think she runs a Tunzi in the back of yeah. that one. So, um, and Jess Stewart might actually run one on hers too. But there is, um, even on the 10 cubes, you can put a nice protein mm -hmm. skimmer in there. We got, I'm going to do some shout outs here. I got, we got David Bean with us here, Lucas. We got Coral Lust Reef Solutions, uh, Matthew, JJ, oh, we got JJ14G here on YouTube with hey, us as up? well. Um, and a couple of new Waterbox family as well. David just ordered a 70.3 plus edition. That's awesome. One nice, of my favorite tanks. Yes. Um, and then Matthew says his 130.4 will be here this week. We are, sh we are getting so many new Waterbox family members yes. every day. The table is getting bigger. <laughs> you know, the table can be infinitely large, you know, so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. The Facebook group is growing every day. Mm -hmm. Over on Facebook, we have Vince. Uh, he says a 190.5 in Maryland saying hi. Um, we got Zachary. He got his 220 recently. Little Joe got a 100.3 he's waiting on and also getting a 20 Q. Mm -hmm. Most of the time I find that people with a water box, they end up getting multiple. You don't do. have just one. Yeah. Um, and Emily's watching, so she was hoping to get a shout out on her tank there. <laughs> And uh, Evan says, beautiful headquarter. So lots of people watching, um, awesome looking tanks, all that good stuff. I got so. a good question here, Jess. Yeah. Daniela is asking, wanted to purchase a fish tank. The, the 
so it's wanted to purchase on split pay. Mm -hmm. Can they pay the difference from the, because split pay is four equal payments. This is a payment option on our website. Um, four equal payments up to a thousand dollars. Can they pay the difference separately? Is that something we offer? Am I asking the wrong person? <laughs> You're asking the wrong All right. person. So if you head right. over to your that email. Would be better as a customer support. <laughs> support at waterboxaquarium.com. Yeah. So, uh, Jess does not know this answer. Yes, yeah, so you can call Emily. She's the tank we just showed. And you can ask her, how do I pay the difference oh, on a Emily says payment? no. Emily says no. Thank She's you, in Emily. the live stream. <laughs> You can't do that, unfortunately. See, that's customer um, service right there. They're watching the live stream to answer the questions yeah. that we can't answer. But we do offer installments, so this is a little bit different program. You know, we offer installments up to 12 months, 0% interest, so you can also look into that, too, if it's above $1,000. Yeah, if it's above that, then you can do the financing. Under, you can do the split yeah. pay. Great so, question, though. Um, and we do not have the other. We don't have yeah, Angela's tank. I'm trying to access the mouse to get the video. Uh, okay, so we don't have the... Uh, Angela's tank, who is also a customer service there, but it's a really neat tank. It's fresh water. Okay. Yeah. There you so go. He's going to give us a live gonna, look yeah. into that one. He is going to go the extra mile. He's actually going to show you. He's going to grab the camera and take it over. There. It's a really neat tank. It's fresh water. I think there's one fish, right? So there's, yeah, there's actually, there's a tiny little pleku in there. Okay. He's like itty, itty bitty. Um, one beta who's just living his life in the happy way. Um, cool thing about this tank is it's a fresh water tank, but it also has plants hooked on it, like, on the surface yeah. so that the roots are filling the tank and yeah. it looks really cool and it's like the perfect setup for beta for beta because they like to kind of suspend right. so they got the roots to like block the water and somewhere to kind of like nest in almost mm -hmm. um so that one's actually a really cool thing where you can do with a 10 gallon that's not just your regular old fresh water it's got the wonderful lights plants and stuff like that Kenan's, yeah, Kenan, yeah. Kenan's working his magic right now for us so we're going to show you this tank there it is there it is She's got the, uh, what is that, an air plant? What are they called? No, that's a something. That's a something that you buy. <laughs> Pothos, <laughs> that, maybe. That's green. Uh, uh, it's got leaves and roots, yeah. and it yeah. can be submerged. But it's really cool. See, she's growing that thing in there in the tank. She's got the grass, the driftwood, the rocks. It's really neat. Yeah, so there's a beta in there, and he's living all his glory hiding mm -hmm. in um, that tank. And then you got your decoration. And the plant's actually growing up, and he's got the long stems up on the top, so it's actually growing up and in over the it. AI Prime over it. Is that an AI Prime freshwater, probably? Yes. So it's really cool. It's perfect. It's Emily more says natural, natural. elephant ear plant. There you go, elephant ear plant. Yeah, All that right. one. That one. That's Something. <laughs> <laughs> you're asking me for weight. I don't really know a lot, but you're pulling out the knowledge I don't have right now. So really cool tank, you guys. Again, these are all we have. We got a lot of desktop tanks in here because they're easy just to put on our desk. Mm -hmm. You can enjoy them all day long. A lot of people do these in their offices. They do them at work. They do them in their home office. It's really neat. Yeah, and it's it's like if you've got your own tank on your own desk, you know, you take care of that tank. It's mm -hmm. yours pretty much. Whereas the big ones in the office, so we'll we do more highlights mm -hmm. and videos on. Um, and generally, I have to take care of. So I like the cubes in people's offices. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. <laughs> You're like, what are you going to tell me? We didn't know what last time. We didn't know what was going on. I don't have on. an aquarium in my office. Yay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, he does not. He does I, I, not. I, I'm waiting for the right one, okay? I, I really enjoy the 220 dream build that we have out there. I get to enjoy it all, all the time throughout the day when I'm coming and going especially. So You are never going to have a tank in your office. Let's be honest. Anything's possible. I don't think so. There's a lot of aquariums around here. Plus, I get to do this every week, so I get that's when I get to enjoy them. So. Yeah, because the rule is if it's in your office, you take care of it, and you're like, I'm good. Tony says, <laughs> yeah. no. Yeah. You know, if I set one up in there, yeah, exactly. You're like, well, I guess i got to take care of that one, too. Um, Tony says, Emily's tank is the best. Wow, there you go. So Emily getting some love on yeah. her leaf tank, her Christopher loves uh, Angela's tank. How cool looking, how much it's growing out of the tank. Epic. Evan says, what's coming new? What is coming new? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> hmm. So we did just release our new cabinets for the cube, marine all-in-one, mm -hmm. marine and clear. So yes. all four of those series are now available in black, white, and oak, where previously freshwater was only available in oak and beige. Right. Freshwater, or saltwater was black and white. You can now get them in the three finishes. Yeah, very exciting for the marine. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have actually already started ordering it with the um, 
variation in the colors because now saltwater marine you can have with an oak finish and not just stuck with black and white mm. vice versa you know if you want a clear tank you can now get um, the black and white finishes so pretty something pretty cool another thing too which it's not new we released it obviously on blue friday but the frag series so this is pretty new it used to be 12 inches tall right 12 mm -hmm. and a half we've raised them up to 16 so you get quite a bit uh, more volume there and we're going to be doing a build on it here coming up pretty soon so it's a new product they've really just landed within the last couple of months so yeah, we have a few people um, that have gotten their frags and stuff out yeah. there for the new version um, but it's pretty excited about the build because we get to show you all the features uh, more water volume and i really really like what we're going to do with this one yeah, it, yeah that 16 inch height on the frag is is really nice i mean it gives the so to give you guys a comparison the the old frag in a four foot was 80 gallons. The mm -hmm. new one is 105. Yeah, yeah, and you have a bigger, taller sump. Um, yeah. the, t the tank is about four inches, three and a half, four inches taller. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna, you know, it's not only just frag, but it's the shallow reef. It's, you know, can kind of hit right. all those things. So a lot of people asked when we had the frag if it could be a little bit taller, and that's what we got. Yeah, not to sound like a broken record, guys, but we are live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. <laughs> And the reason I'm saying that is when we when we do, when we do, subscribe, like, follow, whatever. <laughs> um, when we do this new frag build, we're also going to be having giveaways going along with it. So you guys want to tune in every Wednesday because there are real prizes. Real people do win. We just gave away a ten thousand dollar Peninsula system. Yeah. Uh, for the Eel so Island giveaway. These things are real. You tune in. It's a good time. We're learning about aquariums. Yeah. Can't beat it. We'll see you next week.